And welcome back to Fallout 76 on a beautifully sunny day. Today we are visiting Huntsville and we are testing the Plasma Pepper Shaker versus the Plasma Gatling Gun. In my quest to find out, well, which is best or ease of use, or is there even a point of the Pepper Shaker? So this pepper shaker has a hex barrel, so the speed is comparable to that of the plasma gatling gun. Oh hello, that was a uh, that was a legendary. Let's take it for a spin, and then we'll have a look, see which is better. So. Nice. So it kills nice and quick. It's usually uh, someone in here. Well, of course, in Pepper Shaker, once again, outside of squad, it is a 50 shot cartridge. Okay, now, plasma. It's quick. Side. That was quick. Now Gatling Plasma, 500 shots. So already better in that respect. Dispatched enemies very quickly. I mean, I'm quite happy with both so far. Very quick. Staggered and I didn't. Oh, that was good. That's very quiet. Okay, I think we've emptied Huntsville out already. Let's have a quick look at the weapons then. So, we have the blooded Gatling plasma. 25% whilst aiming, which is why we're aiming today. 15 cents VATS critical charge. Not using VATS today, but it's good to know. Uh, we have a damage of 201, though that that's good. With 91 fire weight, so 201 with a 91 fire rate. Ooh, well, I'm being chewed on. Now with the pepper shaker, I have chosen the hex barrel on this one. The reason being, it makes the fire rate similar. So this one has a fire rate of 82. And we have, I don't like the way pepper shaker does this, but 23 times eight. So what's that, 160. 184 plus another 32 so just over 200 and that is 90 82 so just over 282 versus 291 so given the differences and the balances not that much difference back to the bloody pepper shaker pepper shaker so 25 cents while aiming because that's good and it reloads a lot faster well as you quite clearly saw there both the pepper shaker and the gatling plasma very quickly dispatched everybody going Red's very nice. Let's have a quick shoot against the wall here. So this is whilst aiming. Yeah, that's quite neat and tidy. Gaining plasma. Yeah. Both neat and tidy. Spin up time. One and two and 
Pepper shakers, I think, a bit faster. One and yeah. About half the time the spin up on the pep shaker. So pep shakers spin up time a lot faster. So as you saw, we've managed to get through Huntsville. Both guns absolutely fine. Let's look at the uh, the build card distribution. Now I am using this as a heavy build. So I've got master heavy gunner, heavy gunner, expert, bare arms for the weight, and blocker for a bit of dodgy. Now I can remove those two, and because this is a pepper shaker, shotgunner, and shotgunner. Now that will make the per shot, so it was 28 if I remember correctly. Let's have a look what that's done to it now. Okay, could have sworn it was 28. It's gone down to 26. Let's double check that. Shotgunner, shotgunner. So, 26. 23, right. So you lose 3 times 8, 8, 16, 24 per shot. Now let's run it as the pepper shaker. And let's try some slightly more tough enemies. So, we've just cleared out Huntersville. Let's go to West Tech. Yes, five caps. Ooh, I do like the aerial shots of this place. Okay, hopefully this is only going to take a few seconds. <coughs> and here we are. Welcome to Super Muti Central West Tech. Has someone else beaten us to it? Bit of plastic. Yeah, we're not going to get anything out here. So let's pop inside West Tech and see what's what. Into solo. Okay, that was a shot from when we had the first alien invasion. Okay, so here we are inside West Tech. All super muties are 100, so nice and balanced. Aiming again. Okay. Reload. So that's 50. Eight shots. And we got something nibbling up on them. So they take about eight shots. Change weapons. Reload. That's one thing I don't like about core weapons. Every time you reload, you end up with a half depleted core. Right, so here goes. So, eight. Seven. So, even though the pepper shaker. Hmm, let's. And look, we don't have adrenaline on. So. Yeah, eight shots for the pepper. Three shots for. I'll give it for missing. Dead. Try long distance one. Ooh, yeah, long distance, not so good. Look at that. See if the pepper shaker's any better at long distance. So. Right, so both of these are actually specced for vats. Let's have a look. Nice. I have had some company tea, so... My points should refresh nice and quick. Heavy guns and a gun. Don't forget as well, I think. Nice. 
Nice. Double check on those cards again. Yeah, I put on the shotgunner. So even with all my points maxed out, by about 5% because I've only used two shotgun cards. Um, yeah. Gatling Plasma seems to be dispatching faster. Let's put it. Pepper Shaker, reload. Let's take on a room full of them. Here he goes, Pepper Shaker, do your business. Hmm. Pepper Shaker doesn't seem so good. Jesus, did you see that dogger arrive? You did a handbrake turn. speed. But I have an answer for that. Uh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Quad! Right, here goes. Quad shaker. Okay, as you see. Nowhere near as powerful as I did. Struggling a little bit to take down a level 100 super mutie there. So, my thoughts. Once again, I feel the Gatling Plasma somewhat outdid the Pepper Shaker. Also with the Gatling Plasma, I can prime it. There is currently no option to prime the Pepper Shaker. Also, Pepper Shaker can't have explosive on the shotgun now they said you can't have explosive energy weapons and as you know legendaries used to be explosive uh, they took them off us a little while ago but then the gauss uh, yeah the gauss gatling gun thing that uses explosive ammo, so you can and the Gauss shotgun and the Gauss rifle all have an explosive effect. So it's not actually true to say you can't have explosive on energy weapons. And the uh, Crusader pistol, if you have it on pistol, it can be explosive, but the explosive vanishes if you go to an energy based cartridge or ammo type. Why can't they have that with the pepper shaker? Have the shotgun explosive and then not have either the uh, energy or the plasma of the lasers. Mm, right, so in short, uh, oof, pepper shaker build. To max this out, you can't have bare arms, blocker, uh, 250 while bullet shield, the 60 damage positions while firing a gun. Can't have any of those. So, pepper shakers also weigh a bit unless you can get the 90% reduction in weight. Personally, I think I will keep the pepper shaker build. I'll have a quad, possibly a vampire, possibly a bloodies. Mix up the laser, the shotgun, and the plasma. Laser on the quad, plasma on the blooded, and shotgun on the vampire. Why? Because the shotgun seems to do better, especially if you have the single sh uh, on the pepper shaker. 
because in that way it kicks out I do believe 30 projectiles or something like that rather than the 8, eight usual 18 th I don't know can't remember but I know the single one shoots out many more projectiles per bang than the dual hex and quad uh, nozzles all right then so my thoughts I'm gonna stick to the Gatling plasma so next video will be blooded vampire part 2 where I shall expand on the quick five minute video I did on part 1 okay thank you for watching the video see you in the next one